Welcome to the madness! Hello folks, how's it going? The name's Deffy and welcome back to another episode of Belltech Season 2 Mother with Flashpoint. Right, so we did the opportunist the opportunist last time and we walked away with a uh, decent salvage, I guess, but that's the main price of Takina and I am looking forward to rocking it this episode. But this episode, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be doing the next Flashpoint, which is up in uh, Capellan Space. And that is the Defector. And it's our Four Skull contract. So they're not messing around this time. So this is going to be pretty. Well, like I said, this is going to be really interesting. So here we go. On. The Defector. Four Skull. System name Itzpa. Employer. Dracones Combine. Reputation status with the Chikons combined were enemies because we are allied with the Davians, so yeah. Engagement length is short, there's no consecutive deployments. Lost tech items, which is pretty nice. Uh, Tonnage requirement, no restrictions, and we're up against um, House of the Owl. Hmm. Cool. An agent of the combined government has gone rogue. He must be prevented from sharing what he knows, but I believe that the mercenary solution is in order. Kill the defector, and you will be rewarded. Cool. Alright, so this should be fun. This should be fun. Four. Four. Skull. Assassination, maybe? So we could potentially get some um, assault parts while we're at it. Now, um... Uh, okay, pickup game. As you're working out on the machine in Yargo's gym, a small group of mech warriors clears equipment out of the way and starts setting up a makeshift basketball court. A ventilation seal ring apparently makes a fine hoop. Nixon and Spartan on one approach it. Are you going to play this side, Commander? Two and two. You're going to be with Arclight. The other mech warriors cheer enthusiastically. We're going to push ourselves to win. Oh, fuck. Your team loses the toss, which turns out to be an accurate omen for the rest of the game. Nixon can't seem to miss a shot of range. Well, obviously. As Spartan all warns of ball handling is deceptively effective. Push yourself hard and hard to keep up. The tide has just started to turn your way. When Arclight rebounds an errant shot and kicks it back to you. Coming down from your jump shot, your ankle turns under you with an inaudible. Nixon helps you up to the med bay, and when the doctors begin to fuss over you, Psycho Matter, I think we all played a little too hard. So, Nixon's in low spirits, that's a shame. And Deffy has one injury, which is kind of shit as well, but it's okay. We're only out for 18 days, and the low spirits are only 14 days. It's going to take 16 days to get to the system. So, it's not too bad. So, before I get interrupted with that event, what I wanted to say was, um, if it's available in the store, I'm going to buy a mech, like a full mech. Because, we got a missile mech with the, the King Crab, the MRM-100 build. We got the Quad E RPBC Sniper build with the Tokina. I want a pure gunboat DACA build. So I'm going to be looking out for a 100 ton Daishi or a Direwolf because Direwolves have very good hard points for ballistic weapons so I want to make a gunboat build. So in terms of the gunboat build, um, I'm, ho I'm thinking of maybe rocking 4 Ultra 10s. That could be a really good one. If not, maybe 4 Ultra 5s. That'd be nice as well. But if I could get my hands on some rotary cannons, I might rock. Quad rotary twos, I think. That'd be quite nice. By a six shots, each rotary all account two. Six times four, that's 24 shots. Just pure. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll think about it. That is if we could buy one. If we're not, then not to worry. If we can't buy it, then I'll just salvage something else. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. If anything, we've got other priorities in terms of the, uh, the flashpoint. So, you know, so cool. Here we are, at last. But I'm going to wait an extra day because... Uh, no, not quite yet, because I want to wait an extra couple of days for the uh, Takina. But let's have a look at the store. So let's see, we got weapons. Unfortunately, no mechs or anything. We got a bunch of AC-20s, but that's fine. Alright, not in this uh, not in this system. That's fine. Alright, so let's wait two days. One, two. Perfect. Well, we can use the Takina. Alright, Flashpoint available. Okay, let's get started. The Defector, High Orbit, Itzpa. Ah, Commander Whitehall. We are both busy people, so I want to bit spurts. 
I need you to set the lads down on this miserable backwater and ambush. Oh, we out. Convoy. Weaving no survivors. A super attack, yes? I'd go so far to say this job was beneath you. But I need this Kyoka fan by someone I can trust. But your reputation speaks for itself. This is easily within our capability, Shugo Yamaguchi. Is there anything about this convoy that we should know before we drop? Uh, strictly speaking, no. But I see a little harm in telling you why the convoy has to be destroyed. But this is even then. There is a man, Yoshishito Okada. Okada, sorry. Yoshi, Yoshito Okada. <laughs> a Korean uh, diplomat. If led to the Cabana Confederation, but combined state secrets. No, the Confederation guards him as jealousy as a child might a cherished pet. A bet. The recent effects is usually don't live very long. But regrettably, I must take my leave of you after this conversation is finished. I have important business that I must attend to on Erotitas. And so, I will leave you in the capable hands of Chuai Gaku Hironaka of the Galadon Regulars. Yet, as a capable man of so old. And the soldiers have already established the presence on the planet's surface. I'll make sure he is, uh, he'll make an excellent field of contact. We'll coordinate with him then. I hope your business on Herotitis proves enjoyable. As the way, Commander. If not enjoyable, then at least diverting. But the odds are good. Herotitis enjoys a very special reputation. And so I bid you farewell. Chuai Hironaka will speak to you himself momentarily. Be well, Commander Whitehall. Arigato and sayonara. Shugo Yamaguchi's image flickers and dis disappears as your connection breaks. Moments later, a new figure appears on your view screen. So, you are Commander Whitehall. Shugo Yamaguchi claims that your Mikawaya shall prove what's adequate for the task at hand. I hope that his eagerness to visit his pleasure planet doesn't leave you to overstate your virtues. The feeling goes both ways, Chuai Hironaka. And don't worry about us. Our Mikawaya is more than capable of destroying a slow moving convoy. In that case, I invite you to prove it to me. You have the convoy's mass coordinates shortly. See it that every vehicle is destroyed and confirm Okada's death. The Galadon regulars will be monitoring your progress. Hironaka out. Hmm. Seems simple enough. Seems simple enough as well. Hmm. Man. Sometimes when I do these accents and uh, different voices for the um, for these characters, I don't know if I'm fucking offending anyone. I hope I don't. <laughs> I mean, fuck. We had the... Um, we had the German, the uh, Steel Glitz guy. Steel Glitz. I know, I know you guys put the the information in terms of the pronunciation. I just forgot. I apologize. And then I'm doing the old um, Western sweetheart from fucking Cowboy Times with the uh, the, the Fox and the Avalon in the last episode. And now I'm doing sort of Japanese. Okay, all right. God. Oh God. I'm pretty sure I've offended every single fucking nationality by now. Anyway, <clears throat> your hands will be dropped directly in the path of Yoshito Okada's convoy. Smash it flat. There can be no survivors. When the Tetris death has been confirmed, you will receive your reward. This is relatively straightforward, dog. Let's get in and get that. So it's an ambush convoy. Alright. Let's go follow that then. Alright, so who are we taking? I didn't refer to Shadow Cat. I didn't. Shit. I thought I did. That's fine. Okay, so we'll keep. The Atlas out. We'll get rid of the King Crab. We'll get rid of the Highlander. Do we want to get rid of the Highlander? Yes, we do. We'll keep Dark and Wolverine. It'll be perfect to take care of the, um, the convoy. We're going to bring in our new Takina mech because I want to try it out. And I think what we'll do is we'll bring something with a little bit more speed as well. So let's bring BMI, I think. It should be perfect. Okay, next thing you get. And BMI you get as well. Let's go. Alright, Atlas 2. I mean, I'm sorry, but I cannot go without the Atlas. Um, it's just a good firepower from range. Also, we have the Takina. Quad ERPVC mech I want to check out. Um, obviously, we've got Beard Matt as a skirmisher. Or a striker, if you will. Fast attack. That's what it is. And we could dock with stealth, scouting, and he can take care of any tank that he could get his foot on. So, that'd be nice. So, we've pretty much got long range. We've got, um, we've got short range and fast motion. So, cool. I am tempted to um, change up the build of the Atlas, actually. There was um, there's a German YouTuber that I watch um, that mainly, mainly deals with MechWarrior Online, MechWarrior 5 and Baltic, uh, a guy called TTB. Um, he actually uploaded a MechWarrior Online video not too long ago about the um, about a certain Atlas a variation, uh, Atlas Boreheads, I believe. They did a custom build with um, six... ER medium lasers, a Gauss rifle in the left torso, and an MRN-30. And, 
he added a uh, we've not got into engines just yet but basically you can change the engine in one of your VAR mods to give you more room or to go faster but basically he's running an XL400 which allows him to move at um, 69 kph which is like near enough heavy mech like top speed or average speed if you will and I was thinking maybe I could replicate that build but instead of three ER medium lasers there'd be two on each arm an ER small in each arm and for the engine, I would take the mask off the Argus or buy a mask and put that on the Atlas. I'd obviously keep with one Gauss rifle, get rid of the Clan 35 got going on and put on that spare MR30 that I have. It sounds like a good build on paper, so I might give it a shot. We'll see. Anyway, apologize. I should be really be playing. Okay, what do we have? What do we have? According to my scouts, Yoshito Okada's convoy is already moving for the AO Yota Star. All you need to look at the destroy. We're no strangers to salt work, Chiyoi, Hiro Naka. We'll run recon on the convoy. Once we get eyes on it, we'll take it out. We shall see. If we will succeed in destroying the convoy, we we'll proceed to the extraction point. The Guardian Rikuyas will then command the area to confirm your kill. That's how you want to play it. Thank yourselves out. Now let's cut the channel. We got a job to do. Great. I get to choose between Hellfire or a Frozen Death. Why do I have a feeling this isn't going to go as straightforward as I think it is? Okay, so anyway. So, they're here, there's the third route, and then there's the denial zone. That's fine. We have the high ground in terms of here, that's perfect. So, let's uh, let's get moving. Moving to position. Moving out. There we go. She pants. But like I said, I have a feeling this is going to go... This ain't going to go smoothly. We'll see what happens anyway. See what happens. By the way, I've messed around with my mic settings again, so hopefully it's not too bad. In fact, I've been messing around with mic settings over the last, like, few episodes, not just about it, but of Pokemon as well. I've been trying out different things and shit, so maybe this time things might be a bit different. I don't know. <laughs> okay, there's no movement. Don't hear anything. Hmm. See, is it going to be here? That ain't going to be a problem, because they'll have to come up this way, which is quite fine. Okay, let's keep moving forward. Uh, say what, let's keep... Let's get the Argus done here, see if we can get... And we'll get Doc up here then. See if we can get sensors. I'm trying to keep Doc as the ambusher at the minute. Really nothing. Huh. Unless they're coming from the back of here. Yeah, I can hear movement now. I think we're gonna have to bottleneck him here. Unless we got mechs coming up the ridge here, which would be kind of bad. But in terms of geographically, um, we do have the advantage here. We got the high ground in terms of the Atlas and the Tokina. So we can deliver a kill zone done this way. Uh, BMAC can stick around this area and Doc can stick around this area. So let's hold position here with you two. Stabilizing. Let's move you here. And let's just wait and let's see what happens. Oh, here we go. Okay, what do we have? What do we have? We got a Lahau. Lahu. We got 75 ton mech. We got 70 ton and 100 ton. Oh, interesting. And we got the four turrets here. Okay, then. Let's bring you up here, then. Actually, can we move you up here so you can get a line of sight? Yes, you can. Do it. On my way. Okay, so this is going to be pretty powerful. So we've got a low who. Is that the LB20? It could be LB20. We'll see. What else do we have? Alright, that's going to start first. Okay, let's see. What do we have? Uh, okay, so we have a low who. we got a Mad Cat. That's a low 22 heavy large laser clans. And they are small. A low 2B is the LB20, like I mentioned. Uh, we got a Shrek PPC character. Character? Carrier Bulldog. Ready to get it on. Right, let's reserve and let's see what happens. These guys are moving on free, it looks like. Yeah, Master Tactician. Might have eyes on um Doc. Uh Matt, sorry, yeah, we do. But we're in cover, we got a lot of we got a lot of uh, evasion, so this should be our brand bar. Keep reserving until everyone's taking their actions and let's see what happens. I need to try and get myself a mad cat. I want to get at least one Timberwolf this playthrough if I can. 
Of course, we'll see what the um, salvage is all about. Okay, let's reserve. Let's get these guys moving. Also, with um, with Dark, I'm going to have to hit and run. Maybe prioritize the vehicles first. We'll see. Avatar. These guys are powerful. If I remember correctly. Um, two mean pulse, two LR and tens, double MG, and there'll be ten. Okay, that's fine. Right then. Uh, we need against the forest if possible, so let's move for one. Oh shit, it's moved all the way up here. Okay. Okay, but we do have um a good shot onto the Lao so we might just concentrate our firepower on that for now. Yeah, let's just focus on what's in front of us. Pretty good. God, I love the stability damage. That's really nice. Okay, Shrek's moving. Hey. Okay, next in time, test out your loadout if possible. Uh, let's move here. Okay, let's go. All right, so quad ERPPC. I'll keep the game. We can jump, can't we? Because we got, we can't. Oh, it's because we moved. All right. Yeah, not bad. And, and because uh, it's a bowler. Biome. Again, we could fire every turn. Right. You'd alpha every turn, which is beautiful. So yeah, so we're dealing a lot of damage though. That's beautiful. So as we keep it range, all's good. Okay, so now these guys should be moving. I think we'll attack the bulldog and come around this side, I think. Yeah. In a second. Let's just um just want to try and get one line of sight onto the onto the Lauhu so we can just take it out. I guess it's going to have to be a free with a, a right side twist. Move into position. Okay, yeah. Uh, actually, we could probably monitor target this, actually. We could probably go... Uh, what's the damage on the set torso? It's possible. Yeah, do you know what? We'll do that then. Okay, let's go one and two. And let's do it. Copy that. Well, try. But I'm confident this SRM24 will take it out. Let's have a look. There we go. Nice. Okay, so that's one Target. escort down. Okay, we got 100 ton mech moving up. Really worried to see what that is. Okay, so right now we can only take care of the Mad Cat, which I'm personally fine with. We're going to be acting in Phase 4 anyway, so we can run away after that. Left undestroyed. Not bad. Okay, a little bit of damage. Head hit. Okay, and now what we can do is we can just... Uh, actually, can we... No, can we? Gonna have to sprint. All right, let's just sprint out right here then. Uh, yeah, let's go this way. Double time. Let's go. And I think, yep, get back into stealth. I really am contemplating upgrading dark spec, but I'm not too sure what to. I don't want to go any higher than seventy-five because, to be honest, the seventy-five ton variety is probably the best. Combination between speed and power, like actually like melee power. Uh, but on the flip side, though, it's like, you know what I mean? Okay, we can move four. I think we'll be in good position to, I think. Right, so let's try this time. Yeah, okay, let's have a look. Um, double, sure, we'll do it. Uh, actually, what's your percentage chance like? 2%? No, it's not even worth it. It's not even worth it. Okay, I'm fine. It's both. It's fine. Okay, so 60 ton max moving is the Bulldog next. Okay, couple of hits. Couple of hits. It's fine. No problem. Huh? This is as long as we keep them um, in this relative area, it's not too bad. 
But we should be able to take care of the Bulldog quite nicely with uh, whoever. The other moving up. Okay. Let's see if we got Tiger on. Yep. Alright, so it's indirect. That's not too bad. Innisfear 20s, and not to mention, I think we're in minimum range there as well, so it's not too bad overall. Okay, so we can move forward or we can keep high ground. I think if we keep the high ground, I want to get into cover. Yeah, keep it in this area. Should be good. Alright, um, okay, so next target priority. Uh, I'd say we would carry on with the Mad Cat, actually. We're hitting the right side, but it's the fresh side, which I'm not too happy about. But we will be kicking it on his ass. But then again, the Avatar is fresh. Sure. Okay, miss with the RPPC, I think. Okay, it's not too bad. The LB10 is gone anyway. Alright, excuse me. Uh, just checking. Yep. What? No. Okay, Nixon. Uh, get yourself into cover as well. Possible. And we'll start finishing off the avatar because I think that might be a kill, I think. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, that is beautiful. Enemy met you can't deny it. That's a great loadout. That is a great loadout indeed. Okay. So I got this 100 ton mech. I think I might do a wee headshot on that and see what we could do. Okay, um, I could, I'm gonna be, hmm. Actually, no, I'm gonna reserve. I'm gonna reserve Doc's action until uh, phase one, I think. See what my cat's doing. So that's a lot. That's completely fine. Okay, let's go to phase two. Bulldog is moving. Large laser connects as well as the SRM, uh, I think it's double SRM 6, I think. Maybe. Okay, do map. Let's, um. I could come here. That's cool. Okay, let's get to the forest. Let's go this way. And we'll do some damage onto the Bulldog. I am not going into melee range because I want to use this rage as um, a screen protector to, uh, to our right flank. So, if this doesn't kill, does it kill? Not too bothered. And it was. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Nice. I'll take any kill I can, but right now, I just want to stay in here, focus on this area. We should be good. We got lucky with our spawn, actually. We did get very lucky. Alright, let's just preserve again. Okay, shrimp sure PC should have a line of sight on her. Miss, miss, and miss. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, Duffy, let's, uh, let's see here. Can we do a multi-target? Probably can. But A and B. Actually, no, let's just, um, let's just go Alpha. Because then I know it's gone, because these tanks have a lot, I mean, a lot of armor and health, so. See? That's a full Alpha Strike from the Atlas, and it's still alive. So that just goes to show, right? Exactly. However, though, what we can do is we can do this. We can go one and two. And we can drop the rest to uh, Bravo. Well, this should finish off Alpha. Nice. Okay. Near enough. Alright, so 100 some mech should be moving now. Alright, Doc, if you want to finish this guy off. So that is, um, hmm. Where's the other tank? You want to go? Let's go. Where is the other tank? Hmm. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. Oh, it's the okay. Ordered. What do we have? We have a oh, we have a Mackie. Ooh, the first ever assault Melomech. I believe it is. If we can get a decent look at it, please. Oh, come on, camera. Work with me here. Work with me. Yep. I had it there. There we go. Yep. 
there's the Mackie. 100 ton, the first ever 100 ton assault mech in the Sphere, I believe, if I remember correctly. Alright, okay, let's, uh... Sure, this should finish off the, uh, the Mad Cat, I believe. Left leg. Okay. Yeah, well, I could have, um, reserved, but might as well try and take this guy down if possible. Okay, knock down. It's a striker, so we should have extra health, I think. It's back up again, but I can't see him doing any major damage. His accuracy is really low, but it's still a chance. But let's see what happens. I might get what you're doing. Mr. Timberwolf. Sense a lot. Interesting. I know what you need. I need you to come down here, do a right side twist like so, and do a nice double ER large laser to the madcap, please. Okay, and up a fire. Okay, not bad. Yeah, I feel like Demolisher. This is gonna fucking hurt if it decides to attack Doc. One of them hit. Okay. Light damage. Holding yeah, firm. okay. Okay, so we just got LRMs. Um, actually, do you know what? Let's do this. Let's go bang and bang. Okay, no kill, but steady. Nice. Yeah, but we're not done yet. We are not done yet. Yeah, Maki man. Maki's a cool. Oh, that was a miss. I don't remember what he's got. Is it an AC-20 or was it just another uh, AC- No, it's an AC-10. What? No. Okay, right, my dear. Let's have a look. Okay, so it's a 4% because we're on the side. So is it possible to jump to the front? So look, are we targeting the front here? No, apparently we're still targeting the side. Do you want to try and get some Mackie parts if possible? That could be the Daka Mech one. Hmm. I know this sounds really stupid, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump. And I'm going to brace. Jump and brace. Because I want Nixon to get a clear line of sight to the front. Standing by. Okay, um, okay, let's, uh... A sprint. Yeah, I want to, no, no jump. I want to sprint. There we go. Sprint on here. Aye, aye. And basically just get out of the way. I know we still got the Mad Cat to take her off as well, but it's not going anywhere. Okay, good map. Um, I need to get a line of sight onto it if possible. Let's go here. Not to mention we can cool down as well. That's all cool. I guess you could say I'm toying with my food now, <laughs> but I want to get some Mackie parts if possible. No, don't go that way. Which way are you going, you donkey? Turn around, turn around. No, oh, really? You're just going to show your back like that? I'm here. <sighs> really is, isn't it? Just finish him. I know, right? Ah, oh, pardon me. Pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. Ah, uh, sure. Like I said, he's gonna show his back, I mean. Who am I to, uh... Who am I to, uh... You know... Uh, do we not get a shot? No, we don't. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, who am I to, uh... To decline him his, uh, sweet embrace of death. So, I don't know if you know this, but I can't multitask. <laughs> I can read and take a shit at the same time, but I cannot multitask. I just got cool. It's clean up time, anyway. That's all it is. Very short, um, yeah, very, very short, um, what should we call it? Let her rip. 
Yeah. Very short flash bonus one. I might do two then. We'll see. Or I could just do one and do a flash point. A uh, flash point, do a contract or whatever. I mean, to be honest, we're done now. Let's play, Mad Cat. Thank you for playing. I would have gone for a headshot if I served them so we can get the free parts, but it ain't happening. I'll take this eliminate. Is that Titan can clutch it for where you are right now? An adequate joint command of oil. For Mercedes, your people showed for remarkable discipline. Glad to hear your breast. We'll meet you in orbit to Glatzope. Olivia, right? Hmm. So, what's this all about? Alright, 70,000. Okay, so Defy. Two kills and a tank kill. Nixon, one mech kill, one tank. Beer map, one mech kill, one mech tank. Doc, one tank. Okay, salvages. Okay, so no mech parts, but we do get a large laser triple plus. It's not bad. Double PC, double, double S rank 4. That's pro, power mod, double heat sink, AC 10 ammo, AC 20 ammo, lower ammo, sir ammo, sir ammo. Okay, so we could have had a Lu Hao. That would have been nice. That would have been really nice, actually. I will be honest with you. Uh, we got two parts of the Mackie we could have got as well. Uh, any other good stuff? Not really. Hey, got one of them all. But we do get some Lost Tech stuff, so that'll be pretty nice. Also, we'll see what the time is as well. Um, I might just do one Flashpoint per episode. But what I mean is... I might use this as travel time to the next flashpoint and do that. That's what I mean. We'll see. We'll see. What if I could do another contract? I don't know. We'll see. See, the thing is though, the way you kind of got things right now, obviously we've got Battletech going on for the last few months. I'll we'll talk after. The Defect 2. High Orbit. Ispo. Uh, Commander Whitehall, I have unfortunate news. Your quarry has escaped you. Yoshito Okada was in a passage on the convoy to the huge droid after all. Naturally, we'll be withholding your pain until you find and eliminate them. Like hell you will. We put our mech warriors in harm and wait based on your intel, Chuai Hono. He did that, Hironaka. If the target wasn't a convoy, that's on you, not us. We upheld our end of the contract. How's good to hire you to carry Yoshito Okada? On my honor, you will receive nothing until he is dead. Attend to your task or leave the system in disgrace. It makes little difference to me. The Galadon regular stand ready to succeed where you have failed. Terrain cuts is static. It seems that Chuai Hironaka has terminated the communication. Hmm. You get what he's doing, right? That horse ass deliberately fed us bad intel. He wanted us to hit the wrong convoy. He wants to wash our hands of the job that his regulars can take all the glory. This is bullshit, boss. If we did the job, we'd work at two gigs for the price of one, but we'll tell him to screw himself. We don't get paid at all. I think we should take option C. We found the building he's broadcasting from, put it under siege, and forced the bastard to pay up. If we do that, we tank our reputation with House Karita. It may not be fair, but it's a fact. Your call, Commander. Do we track down the wheel, Yoshito Okada, and finish the job? Or do we make Chuai Hironaka pay for what he owes us at gunpoint? Either way, we're going to have to drop immediately. The Galadon regulars ain't going to wait around to conduct repairs. Okay. So, we can continue to hunt for no additional to pay. We can force. He will not get to pay you for the work you've already done, or hell of it, if only was as stiff as on the contract, so we take this whole story of Fair Sam and be let down commits. Um <laughs> Okay, so here's what here's here's what I'm thinking, right? We were contracted to take out Okada, right? We were employed by House Karita, not this fucko. Right? Now, the way the Bushido works... Now, I mean, I'm not a complete um, expert in the Bushido code, but... In a fashion such as Draconis combined, where honour is everything, honour and glory... Going after Hironaka... Is not... Gonna be... Like, actually, it's, it's just gonna be a temporary thing. If we continue to hunt... And take... The glory away from this fucker. It's going to affect him for the rest of his miserable bastard life. I won't let this idiot ruin our hard-won reputation with House Karita. We're going to find our cutter ourselves and do this right. Roger that, Commander. 
Let's just say he threw two jobs at the price of one. It's probably the best choice. I'll see what intel I can dig up and we'll go from there. So yeah. So basically, if you've got somebody who's completely honor bound and glorified for, you know, the way they live their life, basically, take that away from them. And trust me, they will crumble. Yeah. Uh, you've chosen to complete your contract to satisfy your obligation to creator. Good. On my honor, you received your pay when Okada is dead. Not a moment before. He's on my ass. Let's get it done. Yeah, hopefully this will work out in our favor, but we'll see. Okay, so it's another ambush convoy mission. Um, Let's switch it up a little bit. We'll keep Darko because he's perfect for this kind of mission. Beam up, get you out. Uh, Dixon, we're going to keep you out as well, but this time we're going to take Death out in the Atlas. You know, just, just change it to the lineup a little bit. We're going to bring the Highlander out with um, Arclight. And we're going to bring the Bakery out with Bakery Eagle out with Costa. Because we don't use Costa in a while. I am sorry, my friend. Bring you out this time. Do a little bit of cavalry, cavalry maneuvers. A little bit of high flying maneuvers. So that's kind of cool. I'm just waiting to upgrade your mech to something a little bit more appropriate. In fact, I'm looking for a Grasshopper. That's going to be the next one. 70 ton mech. Be able to equip all the jump jets in the world near enough. So, uh, that'd be cool. Okay, let's just get this done then. I wonder if it's the same map. Yeah, see, 2 out of 9 salvage, 0 pay, but it'll pose in good standing with House Korea. And at the same time, we can screw this guy at the glory, because if we can rat him out to his leaders, we will. Now, we could go after him for our pay already, and then we could just do that. We could let the armor be, but to be honest, that'll just be playing into the hands. They don't give a fuck. Honestly, they do not give a fuck, so... Let's stick it to them the way they don't like it. Okay, what do we have? Okay, Commander, we're taking on another convoy. The correct convoy this time. I state my reputation on it. Okay, no worries, Darius. You hear that, man? If the XL steward is wrong again, we get to shit about him forever. <laughs> Trying to get too excited. Okada is, is on one of those transports, but we need to get eyes on him to determine which we're on. Which contest made will well put the convoy, eliminate him once for all. And I'll be wanting to make sure you get the job done correctly this time. If your company gets over its head, my last point is to risk leave you. That would be necessary, motherfucker. The only thing we need to do is stay out of our way. So be it, Masuri. I got to work. Yeah. Alright, so that's the denial zone. That's the recon path. So they should be up here-ish. Right, well, let's not waste any time. Let's do this then. So, Ford Ho. I just realised I've got stealth on literally everyone. Yeah, I've got stealth on everyone, aren't I? The stealth squad. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, I just realised I've got stealth on anyone. Here's, uh, here I am, bitching about ECM. <laughs> Christ. Hey, well, what's up? Right, so you got to remember, we do have four... Uh, yeah, we do have four skulls to worry about. In fact, we're actually equal. We're actually equal in terms of tonnage, so we're going to have to watch ourselves. Remember the rules of engagement of each mech. Remember what to specialize in, and remember to strike swiftly and proudly for what it is. All right, let's get you up there. Um, Nixon, I need you on the high ground as soon as possible. Costa, I need you on the high ground as well to determine what's up there. Any on sensor? No. And Dark, I need you on the far right as soon as you can. Right, should be engaging next. By me, should be engaging next turn. So let's see what we can do. Ah, uh, no sensors there, huh? Interesting. Oh, there we go. Hey, Commander, you seeing this? Yes, we do. Okay, easy to vehicle. Could be a bulldog, could be anything. What do we have? We got Warhammer 6k. Warhammer's would be nice to have. What else do we have? We got a um, Nova Cat. Oh, shit. Okay. Proper strong. Is that it? Right, well, let's just reserve to uh, Phase 1 and see what comes up. Orion. 
Anything else? Marauder. Oh, I want a Marauder. I want a Marauder badly. Anyway, Warhammer's moving. Should be using sensor lock in a minute, I think. No, okay. Okay, so it's a one. Right. Okay, so Marauder has 82, double large laser, double medium laser. Does it have any? Um, yes, it does. It's got a um, command console, I believe. Yes. Uh, I'm not going to take it off, but I'll just quickly read. Uh, provides one initiative. Defenses and juries against a mech warrior. Provides a bonus to actions that generate resolve. Increased bot distance by 25 meters. We have call, uh, Lance Command Module. Call shots executed by his unit are more reliable. And Lance Command Module, 10%. So yeah, this guy's a proper good command. Um, what should we call it? Okay, so let's uh, let's start this party off then, all right? Okay, so we're not quite an EC20 range. Nixon, right, let's go up here. Now, because Nixon's got reaching shot, we can actually take advantage of this. Perfect. Fact. Um, right, here's what we're going to do. All three in the Warhammer, and one onto the Nova Cap. Because it's got Bulwark, so overall... His damage would be a lot lower if we didn't, you know, go all three on one. But we missed with one. That's a bit shit, but it's fine. Okay, turret's moving up. Waiting for okay, arc light. Uh, just jump if we can. Sweet. Yeah, we'll do a little bit of damage onto the um, onto the warhammer at least. On target. Ultimately, what I want to do is I want to get behind these guys and start taking them out because there's some serious firepower. This SRM carrier, sensor lock. Standing by. Okay, right. Uh, dock. Can you target the Orion in the back? No, you can't, but you can target the. Yes, we can target the Marauder from the side or the back, is that? Doesn't show, but we might be able to take the Marauder right here. This would be a perfect assassination if this happens. Let's have a look. We got for a stock. Nice. Good old fashioned backstabbing melee mech. <laughs> Beautiful. Hostile eliminated. Cool. Also, thick is his eyes and the rest of the convoy as well. So we got demolisher, a bunch of this, a bunch of that. Okay, um, let's jump to cover. That's that bad, kind of is. Okay, let's jump as much as possible can to the side. Okay. Um, who you got targets on? Yeah, we'll do the SRM carrier. A few of them should be enough, I'm hoping actually. Try it. Just. That's okay. If you can get one kill a target, I'll be fine. Or one kill around, whatever. So demolish it with a double AC 20, but we do have a lot of evasion, so okay, sensor lots instead. Okay, Nova Cat's moving. I didn't know Nova Cat was a melee was an assault mech. Okay, so just moved. That's completely fine. Right, dock. Uh okay. I'm gonna use vigilance just in case. But this should be really good, because here's the thing, uh, the Ryan's not going to move much, he's probably going to move here. But we'll have a good bit of evasion if we move. Um, actually... Let me think. It's going to move up a couple of tiles, it will be in range. Um, what's his specialization? It's Striker, so he does have some decent gunnery. We will have a lot of evasion, we do have Vigilance as well. I think we should be fine to do this. It's a bit risky, but I think we should be fine to do this because we need to get these guys down now before we can move on to the convoy. You wanna go? Let's go. All right, right arm gone. Beautiful. Can we take out the right torso as well. Get rid of the SM6. That's a negative. Up. Okay, let's see what happens now. Right, Ryan's moving. Probably either going to sensor lock or attack the uh, vapor eagle, depending on the angle. All right, attack the vapor eagle. Attack Costa. That's completely fine. Okay, Costa, uh, let's see here. Let's see, let's see. Okay, let's move down to here. Can we get line of sight? Yes, we can. And we will attack the Warhammer now. We're full alpha, and that should be... Take care of this other arm. 
Okay, take it on your side, baby. Not to mention, we could punch it out, maybe, if it's uh, unsettled. But basically, that's both its uh, double PPC gone. So now all that's left is an SM6 and I think a couple of lasers, I think. Got Says a lock. That's not good, actually. It's not. Okay, no cast moving. What are you doing? Did it do anything as well? Okay, arc lights, we bought. Confirmed. We should be able to help with the Warhammer down now. Let's go on. Nice. I was a bit worried then. I thought it wouldn't kill it. We did. Nice. That's the way. I like it. Alright, double AC 20 demolish is going to be kind of bad. Okay, one hit. That's why I uh, use vigilance. Reporting. Heavy dead. Yeah, you're alright. You're alright. Okay, Nixon. Uh, let's jump for one, just so we got a evasion. It's a little trick I learned at the beginning of the LP. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's have a look. So we only have one line of sight, one line of sight. So that's the demolisher. In fact, that's brilliant because we can take out the demolisher now. It's got a lot of armor, so hopefully this will do it. Warning, enemy reinforcements. Reinforcements. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. Okay, we've got reinforcements. So that's uh, kind of bad. Hey, good salvage opportunity spot. I've been sensor lost. Let's have a look. All right, this is gonna hurt this S rank carrier. So that's a lock. I'll take it. Right. Where? Right hand side. Okay, so that's PPC, large pulse, and a bunch of missiles. I can't think who that is. So it's coming from the right hand side here. We've got 100 ton mech as well. It's an imp. And we got imp parts. AC 20, yeah. Not much armor left in that location. You're alright, you're alright. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's have a look. So we got an imp. Another 15. Alright, that was the guy that attacked us, right? Yeah, so imp, double ERPBC, a bunch of laser weaponry, large poles. Okay, so that's okay. What else do we have? We got a Banshee 3Q. Hmm, Banshee. Hmm, alright. Receiving you. Yeah, alright, so we're going to attack you right in the back if possible. I copy. Yeah, we're brawling now. Okay, right armor, it's hustle. Right, you down. Nice. One left target. That's absolutely beautiful. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do this then. So let's move here. Um, I'm not too worried about... Yeah. I'm going to focus on the convoy. Just try and relocate the guys over to this side if possible. Yeah, take care of this um, SRA carrier, please, Costa. Nice. So we just got one more convoy, and we have three enemies to eliminate. So this round's going to be a little sore, I think. Just because... Um... It's guarded. I'm really worried about that Nova Cat. Oh, we got an Orion 2C. Oh, sure. Okay. I didn't see him. Actually moved as well. We got Black Knight as well. Okay, so we got some serious firepower to deal with. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. I was just thinking. Right, um. Alright, let's get vigilance. Okay, so let's, um, I actually do not know what to do. Jump for cover. I think we might do that, actually. Yeah. Jump for cover. Let's attack the Nova Cat, but we need to use cooling vent. Okay, it's bulwarks as well, but should be a good bit of damage, hopefully. Not too bad. Okay, demolish is moving. Okay, what are you doing? Says the lock. Okay, Nixon, what is our shots like? If we go, um... Okay, if we jump for free... You may, you may not. I'll see. Okay, so we have the Ryan 2C at a 5%. 
Have we not got master? We haven't got master. Um, yeah, we don't have a uh, call shot master. You have we? We don't. It's uh, it's actually Ark that has it. So yeah, so let's not waste that then. Okay, so in terms of shots, I do want to focus on the. Let's just get the demolish down. We know four shots can take it out depending on where it hits. There we go. Right, so we can split the main objective. That's all that matters. Here comes the um, the pain. Yeah. I'm under heavy fire. Okay. Now we got some assault mess to take care of. Black Knight went over this way. Yeah, it's AC twenty. As long as we're keeping the um, bulwark, we should be fine. Ready for orders. Okay, Doc. Um, yeah, let's run and take care of these. Uh, let's take take care of this North Cat. Heading out. Get this guy down now. Excuse me. All right, structure exposed. Don't know why though. On the back. So look. No sense. It's also from the front. Ooh, ooh, Costa, Costa, Costa. This could be a kill, this, my friend. This could be a kill. No, we still need to move to here then. Actually, speaking of which, uh, what's the armor like? Oh, it's actually. Oh, yeah, we can do this. Jump for two. Jump for two. Set the torso on the back. Nice up. Do it. Nada? Scored a critical hit. Nada? Oh, okay. I thought that might have been a kill. Guess it wasn't. Okay then. Okay, Rain TC's moving. Targeting Vapor Eagle. I need to go max evasion with the vapor you got all times. Just luckily that was a multi target, but yeah, it doesn't matter really. Okay, Arclight. Um, Arclight, we do have a bit of a job actually. This, I don't know if this is gonna work, but we could try it. Uh, actually, where are we hit? Right, okay. What we do is we could try this. Let's move forward like this, and we'll see if we can rock a 15% headshot. Uh, okay, let's take off the ER medium. 16%, let's try it. Nice. Now, the cool thing is, that's a full Banshee on the board. We got a full Banshee on the board, that's really nice. A nice AC20 to the face as well. Okay, so now we need to do the same for the Black Knight. I'm trying to maximize as much salvage on the board as I can, really. Okay, let's move for one. Copy. We're not going to jump this time. Because I think this will kick us over a little bit or whatever. Where is NTC? Nope. Uh, tell you what, actually, let's multi target. Nope, actually, multi target. Sure, let's multi target and we will attack the. Sure, let's go. Uh. Fire. There's a punch out. Ah, but what if I knew that would have fired once? That is all cool. We got sense of the paired anyway, so that's a little bit of its uh <laughs> yeah, look at the imp. Such a funny looking mech. Okay, so we got structure exposed. Okay, I think it might be the armor thing. Getting my ass kicked here. I know, dude. I know. We're getting to that territory now where basically. It's like, what can we do? Sure. We're attacking the back here, so this should be another kill, I hope. And we got a lot of evasion as well, so it's not like we're in trouble doing this. Come on, Doc. Uh, right arm, right torso. There's a chance. No. Nope. Okay, 
Costa, um, first of all, let's use Vigilance. Trying to get to the back if possible, it's not going to work. Nah, I don't think it is. But we could continue doing full Alpha Strikes if we can. Not too bad. We could um, punch him out here, he's unsettled. Or stressed, you know, just do a little bit of uh, debilitation when you're attacking. Okay. Missed. Alright, so we got the Black Knight up here as well, I've not forgotten. We're trying to leave into last. Does have an ER, does have a PVC. I've done anything, it's fine. Okay, so. Gonna jump. Mm hmm. Actually, I should really go over um, status. What is it? It's the arm? No, it's a torso. Interesting. Okay. I think that will kill him. Um, can we just remove the ERs? Yes, we can. Got a hit. Hmm. I'm trying to punch him out. I'm trying to get parts, but. No, actually, I'm trying to dissect him to stop the amount of um, salvage on there, actually. Okay, I'm just moving. Okay, next one. Let's move over to the side a little bit. And we'll just keep firing on your own. One dead alright. I'll tell you one thing, I love this Takina. This Takina is so good. Alright, Costa. Um Ready for orders. Okay, jump over as far as you can. Then we'll start doing some damage onto the imp. Because we got a plan with our clout. Starting to lose our missiles as well. We got a head hit, it's not too bad. Standing by. Okay, Doc. Um, Doc, actually, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sprint for you. Try and get to the back of the imp if possible. Because, like I said, I've got a plan with um, the Black Knight because I do want to get a Black Knight. That will probably be the upgrade for Wolverine if we can get this Black Knight. It'll just be the perfect balance between armor movement, sorry, movement as well as um, punching power as well. Okay, I'll like, how lucky do you want to be, my friend? Okay. Okay, so we can jump for free. Copy that. So let me do the math here. 60. Okay, I think we can do this. Engaging nope. I'll keep doing it. I will keep doing it. Alright, the imp's moving again. Second. Okay, missed, missed. Watch pulse just went through. That's the torso gone. It's not. Okay. Reporting. Internal damage. Yep, don't worry. Alright, Nixon. Um, yep, let's just keep firing onto the imp. Okay, missed with two, I think. No, we got with three. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay. Standing by. Doc. Attack the opposite side, that's fine. Moving to position. Engaging. Just exposed, don't know what on. Settled, okay, that's fine. Costa, do you want to move to the side? Roger. I think we got enough missiles just to knock it over. We only really need one, I think. Yeah, we just got one more barrage and that should just be enough to knock it down, I think. 115 crit. He sinks destroyed. Locked down. Okay, cool. Right, so it's back up again. Accuracy is going to be really bad. Oh, it's came from behind. What are you firing on? Nothing. Okay. Okay, I'll collect. Um, let's try this again then. Confirmed. Nope, 
this time. Well, I need you to come out there. Byron? Nope. Got energy shot. Okay, right on, gone. He didn't expect that. Panicked. Commander. Yep, can we get into a different angle? Yes, we can. This will knock him down. He's in destroyed. Okay, you're on your ass. Solid connection on that one. And he is. Now the question is how much health does he got? He should have a good four health, I think. So we can keep doing this and doing this and doing this, but I don't think he'll be I don't think he'll be dead anytime soon, I don't think. Alright, so just uh eat our smiles now. Uh I could try to take care of the like. Just working on a set of torso. No, actually, let's try to take care of a, the left torso, maybe, just to get rid of some weaponry. But, nah. It's fine. Okay, Black Knight's moving again. He's coming in for a melee. Oh, God, this is going to be dangerous. Okay, that's fine. I think it's got some port weapons, I think. S lasers. Armor breach. Internal One. Okay, it's not too bad. Yeah, the Highlander's going to have to go under that's some shot. major repairs, if you will. That's okay. Alright, let's uh, jump again. But, because it's out of um, bulwark. Come on. Come on, Ark. Nice. Nice, this is what I wanted. That's what the dots were ordered. Alright, now all that's left to take care of the end, but that's it. But, we got to remember is we got 11 salvage, so... We'll see if our is good enough to give us two Black Knight parts, or even three, just so we can get a Black Knight. I'd right, rather take... Do you dare? Okay, straight arm. What was in the right arm? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't actually remember what was in the right arm. Find out in a second, I guess. Mm-hmm. Right, torso. And that's him gone. Cool. Right, so, um, uh, yeah. Hostile. Uh, we got Banshee parts, we got Imp parts. Black Knight's what I want. Well done. You managed to wipe out the off four out. Yep. Good job, Dylan. Again. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to go make sure that Hiro uh, Hironaka pays us what he owes. If it doesn't, I'll personally shove one of Yang's impact wrenches down his throat. There will be no need, Miss Donovan. Join me on a secure channel and we'll discuss your payment. Mission successful. That pays this time. Hmm. I think we took the right option, personally. I think we did take the right option. But we'll see what happens in the story. Alright, so three kills for Ark. Okay, so basically it's just basic repair jobs for him. <laughs> Four off and losing the torso, fucking hell. Alright, Nixon, um, one kill, three tanks and a punch out. It's cool. Costa, just uh, lost in your small. That's okay, that's okay. Two tanks and a punch out, and dot. Three kills and a punch out. Nice, and what do we get? Probably nothing. Let's see. We get one. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. <laughs> Let, let me just dissolve that for a, a split second. Let me just accept. Okay. We got one Black Knight part, but because we got three parts of another, that's a full Black Knight. We've got one part of an Orion VA, but because we only got two, then we got three. That's another Orion. And we've got one part of a Warhammer 6K already, but we got three in another Salvage. That's a Warhammer. We're walking away with three. 370 plus pun max. With it is a large laser, double medium laser plus, plus a device with six heat sink and an SRM ammo. I am a happy man. That's perfect because we can actually um, get rid of some, some of the lighter heavier mechs then. 
Actually, we can get rid of the beep. Actually, do you know what? I think personally we can get rid of the vapor eagle. Uh, no, because I want a grasshopper for that. Get rid of the shadow hawk. That's for sure. Can finally, get rid of the wolverine. We can give all that stuff into the black knight for dark now. Of course, it depends on the yang. So we'll see what happens. If we don't build any of these, I will not be a happy camper. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's hope the game can load. <laughs> That's my biggest worry at this point in time. The Vector 3. High orbit, it's spot. Your task has been completed to house creator's satisfaction, Mr. Oliver. It would seem that Shogo Yamaguchi's assessment of Duck Dodgers was correct after all. Congratulations. You seem upset, Shuai Hironaka. But you couldn't possibly be angry that we completed Shogo Yamaguchi's death task and killed the Vector, could you? Of course, if we had failed to kill Okada, you couldn't take a crack at the job yourself. Maybe you earned yourself a promotion. Perhaps. But this seems pointless to discuss such matters now. The job is done, and your mercenaries will reap the rewards. If I had gone in my way, you'd lost a hell of a lot more than a promotion, pal. By the way, you're an asshole. Just putting that out there. Second, you know, for, you know, for prosperity. What a charming company you assembled, Whitehall. Models of professional decorum. You have a pay, our business is done. And if you are wise, you will stay out of my affairs for the future. You will knock her out. The Koreatan soldier's image disappears from your view screen. You can almost taste his rage as his image flickers and dies. You know, for the record, the commander made the right decision by there. If we sent Balmax out to Hironaka, we'd be picking a fight. We'd be picking a fight with House Karita. We won't need that kind of heat. Damn right we don't. Her reputation is worth more than that, Yang. Okay, boss, I get it. Just have to speak my piece. Anyway, he's gone now. Problem solved. Better yeah, we got paid. And that's always a reason to celebrate. I'm going to go pop over and a Coella Fizz in the company mess. If anyone likes to join me or indulge in something stronger, perhaps, you're more than welcome. We just won, so let's act like it. Uh... Okay, yep. Yeah. Um, most parts first, so let's get the 6k. The Warhammer is one of the mainstays of the heavy mechs. Solid, dependable, and hard and heavy hitting. Yep, let's ready it. Concerning the Black Knight, we want the 7, not the L. Just want the original 7, that's what we want. One of my favorites, boss. Not only are the Black Knights are really nice looking, but they're well armored and packed to touch any big base firepower. But these things run hotter than a Naga Pepper. I recommend you downgrade a large laser to add extra heat sinks. Ready it. <laughs> yep, the Orion VA. Instead of sacrificing armor, the Orion VA trades out some of its long range punish by removing the element 15. This allows it only to maintain the stock armor, but add six heat sinks for better heat management. Ready it. We'll see that it's prepped and ready. Oh, yeah, we got a lost tech as well. So we got a com. Oh my god. A common system double plus for resolve gain. We get a large pulse double plus. We get an Atlas two part. That's nice. That is very nice. That's nice beyond belief. We got gyro double plus, range finder, S laser plus. We got fire star. Okay, and okay, yeah. Oh, we also get a fire star part as well. All right, let's get the K and we'll sell it because we're not using fire stars. Right, my friends. Holy shit! And yes, we are gonna. All right, we're gonna wait four days, five days, part six, and we gotta get these ready. Yep, we're gonna get these ready. We're gonna give them some builds, aren't we? Okay, so first of all, um, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, first of all, we are gonna get rid of the the warring. No, 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 we're we'll wearing the other one. Six T. Doc, you a Jew an upgrade, and do you know something? <sighs> We've said goodbye to some mechs. We really have said goodbye to some mechs. But this one's a bit sweet for me. This has been the workhorse of this campaign. I'm not joking. Without this Wolverine, we would not have survived the missions that we did. It was Costa as well that got us the parts as well. Episode 3. Episode 3 of this playthrough, when we did that um, ambush convoy. There was a Wolverine that popped up. The 6T. We punched it out, we melleed him, punched the pilot out, walked away with two parts. And then what, what was it, like 20 odd parts or so? Costa, we are defend base mission. Costa does a fucking jump kick to the face of the cockpit of the war, with the Wolverine. We got the extra two parts. And ever since then, 
in the same episode as well. We got what the Armod, we got the uh, the Nova Cruise, we got the uh, the mask as well. Bought the TSM just to thing it, but yeah. Yo, what you know, Wolverine? Been an absolute fucking pleasure. Thank you. Goodbye. Come on, game. Thank you. Right, uh, we also have the Warhammer as well, so let's have a look at Warhammer, let me have a look at parts. Okay, so... Nothing for the Warhammer. Okay, we also got an Orion as well. No jump jets? Hmm, okay. Right, well, I'll tell you what, um, let's... Yeah, do you know what? Let's put the, um, the Vapor goal away. Yeah, but I need to repair it, don't I? I do. Right, well, let's just strip everything then. Let's strip equipment and let's just do this. Because I'm not using the Vapor Eagle anymore. I'm going to get a Warhammer as well. It's not Warhammer. I'm going to get a Grasshopper for Gossip. I'm just going to buy one. Because he needs... Um, because he needs an upgrade as well. Uh, do you want? Know let's give. Yeah, I'm gonna give Ace the uh, the Ryan. Just makes sense. And Warhammer. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the Warhammer. Yeah, let's restore it. Warhammer. That's actually. Let me repair that. Keep the Shredder Cat. Yeah, keep the Shredder Cat around. Definitely. Let's repair that finally. Right, well, anyway, let me build the Black Knight, then. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, Black Knight. Max armor. Okay, so first of all, what we want is the TSM. Find it. Alright, we want the mask. Mask in the center, definitely. We want the TSM. Definitely. Uh, that can go there. Okay, what else do we want? We want... The free hit defense with gyro. Okay, for the mask up there. Roll this on here. Okay, our mods. I want the strong arm mods. 60 here. 60 there. All stacks. We want uh, Nova Cruise if we can find it. Yeah, we want the Nova Cruise that can go on the top. Uh, there is no jump jets. Like mods, no. That's pretty much it, actually. Throw an active probe on. We'll throw the comm system on. We'll throw this on. Right, I'll tell you what. Throw that here. Comm system. Actually, no, because we got hard points, aren't we? We have. Got four ER smalls. We'll throw them on. Like so. Heat efficiency is not too bad because we're not planning on heat. I'll tell you that much now. Uh, we do have energy. We could probably throw on some ER mediums as well. We do have tons. So what we could do is... Uh, let's have a look. What's the movement? The movement is 120 to 200. Even with the mask. So having some medium laser would probably work as well, I think. Just throw, what, one each? And then we'll just throw some clan double heat sinks and then I'll do that. So it's so it's gone from more of a skirmisher to an actual brawler now. So yeah, so we can throw some clan double heat sinks on. And we can throw this heat bank on as well, I think. Or is that too much? No, that's way too much, dude. Let's Maybe just, uh, no. Yeah, just don't know what you I'll do. No, I don't want to, no, I don't want to do that. We're just going to go on the ton by 13. Uh. Yeah. We're just going to be on the ton. That's fine. So this is the Black Knight build we're going for. Melee damage is now 215. But until we can get a melee weapon... This is going to be better. It's a bit more than the the Wolverine, but we got a lot more armor now. So cool.
Right, let's confirm that. Then we'll test it out in the uh, the next fight. Right, um, Ryan, okay, so obviously Ryan doesn't have any jump jets, so we can't make it a skirmisher. Just have to make it a fire support, that's all we can do, really. Okay, so what I'm thinking is, I'm just thinking maybe missile build. We got AT and Freeze, we got Learn 10s. Maybe just 215s, that's what I'm thinking. Just turn up 24, let's bring this down to 40. 40 as well. Let's go 60, let's go half if you can, 60 that'll do. Okay, so let's go, uh, what, 215s? 15 here, we've got 15 there. Energy weapons, we'll just go medium laser, medium laser. Uh, let's see here, probably, that's probably about it actually, it's just a missile build, it's just a fire support. Yeah. Two double heat sinks here, and the rest just be heat sinks. Just a standard build. We don't really have the. Oh wait a minute, we do have ballistics. No. No, we'll just make it to fire support. It's two ER meme. Yeah, but is that enough? Yeah, fire power's all right. I'll do once it. Yeah, I'll do. Let's throw in all these heat sinks and maybe just armor up a little bit. Oh, we can just throw in another ton. Yeah, that'll do. Cool. Stand the build. Ammo. 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 I just realised. Ammo. Ammo, you stupid idiot. Uh, stop work. Do we have to do that again? Fuck's sake, we do. I'll do this quickly. Sorry. Sorry, folks. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Okay, um, where are you? Actually, we could go to 10 clans. Do one big ballistic? Sure, let's do that then. Other intense, yeah, I'll do that. That sounds a lot better. Two yard mediums, so. Uh, let's have a look. What big ballistic can we throw on? Another Gauss. We got an ultra 10, but nah, that's alright. Um, ammo. We got one Gauss. Well, we'll just good old fashioned easy 10. That'll do, won't it? Yeah, that'll do. And then we'll go. Two bins of AT10. We've got two bins of LRAM. And then what we'll do is we'll add one big double heat sink and then I'll do that. Then. Right, yeah. Uh, one click, two click, three click. Uh, one click, two click. Perfect. Yeah, do that. There we go. This is a, a nice fire support build. Brawler build, whatever. We don't really have skirmishers 75 above, but you know, it's all cool. And this Warhammer will decide what we're doing with it later. Um, actually, I might just give that to Lightning, I think. Yeah, let's give this to Lightning. Let's get rid of the 6k then. And we'll do one of my favorite like Warhammer builds. Actually, no, let's not do that. I'm just storaged. Lexi, come on, game. Right, store it. Right, four armor six. So we got um one missile, six energy. Uh let's have a look. We've got optimized capacitators. 25% energy damage, not too bad. So here's what we are gonna do. We're gonna go. Ah, uh, we don't have any ERPPCs. I was gonna use an ERPPC. Yep. Unless maybe we go... Uh, do you know what, actually? We could go to... Heavy Clan... Heavy Mediums... That could work. Two of these. Just go full laser belt. Yeah, let's go full laser belt, that'll do. Um, do you want a missile as well? Another 10 could work. Go on the 10. Uh, let's go one ton of ammo. Actually, we'll go one and a half. And then the rest will be double heat sinks. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
Seven. Eight. Actually, do you know what? Actually, actually, actually. I could put this heat bank in. This would be perfect to do so. Put the heat bank in. That's fine, I think. Uh-huh. And then I think what we could do is we could... Uh, no, I'll just keep throwing on heat sinks. I'll do. Uh, actually, no, let's go single. One here. One here. One here. Finally, uh, yeah, one here. With a little bit of back armor just down. One, two, three, four, five. 65, 65, 105. Perfect. And that's another war armor build. Cool. So we can get that to lightning now. And then we'll get it cost of the grasshopper. And I think that's everyone that's got 70 plus. So yeah, so we've got a lot of work to do, but we're going to head to the next um, flashpoint. And that's what we'll end the episode. So we've got no... Okay, so we've got, a, we've got what here? We have... Um, what's this one? That's Davian Alliance. That's a four and a half. Fucking hell, that is tough. we got one here as well. Bobbins and Balmex. Still got this one down here. White Lies. Then Spies is 64 days. This expires in 160, this expires in 170. So let's go to, yeah, let's head to independent space and let's do this one. White Lies. Uh, looks like we're playing for House Mark, the Free Worlds League, so let's go. <sighs> so yeah, so overall, that flashpoint was pretty nice. We walked away with some good stuff though. We walked away with some new mechs, that's brilliant. Three 70 ton plus mechs. I am super excited to use the Warhammer. The new Black Knight. I can't wait to use the Black Knight. It's just that we have sacrificed speed for... Okay, what's this? As the daily brief and winds dies... Sorry, as the daily brief and winds died, Darius pauses. Last night on the agenda. Capellan officials have sent us an inquiry. They somehow know about an involvement in the assassination of the Korean defector, Yoshito Okada. The message suggests that they're willing to forget our involvement and even pay us if we offer up some information on our accomplishments. Oh man, Yang grins. This is two birds, one LRM situation. What? Let's tell them about our charming friend, Gaku Hero Naka. That's from around aches and eyebrow. This isn't an expression, Yang, but I'm actually, I'm inclined to agree. If we gave up Yamaguchi, we'd never work again, but our subconscious, okay. Uh. Do you know what? Yeah. Give up Gaku Hero Naka's name. Because, to be honest with you, he ratted us out, I guess. He shrug. I might regret this, but Yang's right. To help with Gaku Hiranaka. Hours after the Exo sends a response to the Lao officials, he calls the command staff back to the command center. Good news. The Capellas were highly interested in our mutual pain in the ass. They follow up with Hiranaka and leave us alone. We even earned 100,000 sea bills for our trouble. Yang whistles. <whistles> See? What did I tell you? Now three birds, one. Political explosion. Dust from Radix interrupts. Proloquisms aside, I'd say this was just one short... Of a small victory we needed. Sometimes the big guys just do pay. Days later, you receive a HPG message in your private quarters. You read through the formal language quickly and suss out the point. The combined can't pin you down for a role in the disappearance of Hironaka, but their intelligence indicates that your outfit might be involved. This is a warning. We gain one reputation with the confederate for the compelling confederation, we lose two reputation with the colors combined. You gain hundred thousand seabells, cool. And you know what the fucking kicker is? We are at war with both factions. So who gives a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Who cares? Alright, cool then. So yeah, as I was saying about the Black Knight, um, yes, we sacrificed mobility, like good sword mobility with the wolf with the Wolverine, but there's only so much evasion can do for a sniper. So upgrading to a little bit more firepower, and not to mention, because we got ER smalls as well as the ER mediums, that will give us a little something to do as we move forward. We, we can still rely on our stealth. we still got a bit of speed with the TSM as well as the mask, and as well as Doc's plus 40% sprint modifier thing. So coming into melee, we should be running halfway across the field quite nicely. I mean, it's kind of like the Black Knight's equivalent of his steed. You know, with the... Uh, <laughs> that's what it is. Doc is the Black Knight, and the Black Knight mech is his steed. That's what it is. But yeah, so uh, 
215 damage, I mean, yes, it's only a step up from the Wolverine, which was 198. We're doing 215 now. But once we get our hands on some kind of melee weapon, I'm sure they sell them separately. We might be able to um, pump that up to 298 if possible. Uh, I am running a Shadowhawk right now with my side battles with the almost exact same configuration, but instead he has a... Um, it's got a hatchet, which is a 70 ton, me sorry, 70, plus 70 melee damage um, weapon. Got it from a Valiant, a 35 ton melee skirmisher mech. Got it from a drop in terms of the salvage, and it's fucking powerful, it really is. So that's <laughs> kind of cool. But anyway, we've got to work with what we got. So we'll have a good store. Um, I'm still talking. I'm still want to buy Die Wolf and maybe look at the store and get some racks or something. Get that together, you know. Maybe play around with that before the end of the campaign. But let's see. Let's have a look at the store. What do we have? Belferon, by the way. Hello. What do we have? Okay, so we've got an annihilator. We've got a charger. Uh, we've got an executioner. No, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately, no Die Wolf. I'd like to one. Mad Cat 2 though. Too bad. Yes, Link's Panther from the Bolt. Warhawk. What um what Daka do you have? That's just ammo. It's got 80 tens and ammo. That's shit. But we do have Gals ammo. I could buy some of them actually. Could be something. Unfortunately, we got an annihilator though. I could buy an annihilator, but unfortunately it's the energy annihilator. It's not the um it's not the the ballistic one. That would have been kind of cool as well. Yeah. Plus 20% ballistic damage, plus 40% max stability, except it doesn't have any ballistic slots, so what's the point? <laughs> right, but anyway, my friends, that's going to be it for today's episode. So, next episode, we will do White Lies. We'll uh, have a go at it, see what's all about. And that's all. So, yeah, let me know your opinions on what your choices would have been for this Flashpoint. It'd be nice to read. If, if you have any options or whatever, kind of cool. Uh, overall, I would give this Flashpoint a good 3 out of 5. It's not too bad. But could have been a little bit more spicier, you know. But anyway, so anyway, that's it. So thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like in the episode if you haven't already. Sub, subscribe if you haven't already as well. A minute. No, sorry. Put something on the intro. Please leave a like if you enjoyed today's episode. Subscribe if you haven't already. Links down below. Check them out if you wish. And if you haven't enjoyed the rest of your awesome day, I'll see you next time. Take care.